Hey everybody, so I just want to quickly give my opinion on the Garnet Hathaway spitting incident that took place in uh, in the Anaheim Washington game last night. Um, this is something that's kind of blown up all over hockey Twitter, and obviously there, with there only being two games last night, I think it made it a bigger deal than it actually is, but there wasn't really anything else going on, and then all of a sudden we have this big brawl in the in the in the game after a goal scored basically if you haven't seen it what happened is brandon leipzig absolutely destroyed i think it was Derek grant one of the um one of the anaheim forwards behind the uh, next to the net uh, clean hit absolutely laid him out then he got jumped by like three anaheim ducks and at this point it's you it's your pretty typical nhl donnie brook you know got a huge hit guys jump in to protect their teammate all of a sudden, you know, it's a five on five. Everybody grabs a partner. And it was, it, you know, it wasn't anything out of the ordinary. It was your your typical, you know, big scrum slash line brawl from the NHL. And, you, you know, you didn't get a lot of fights out of it. Most of it was just people grabbing on and then just standing there and not doing anything. Hathaway actually did fight Derek Grant. Um, Derek Grant didn't seem too interested in returning the favor. Hathaway kind of just started throwing on him and uh, definitely won that fight. And then other players jumped in and got involved and Hathaway started going at it with Eric Goodbranson. Nick Ritchie was involved and You've got all, it just, it never seemed to end. It kept going and kept going. And even though some of the players really kind of weren't involved, they just kind of stood there. There were certain guys on each team that were just continuing the altercation and keeping it going. And the right guys were on the ice for both teams for that. The only thing that would have made it better is if Tom Wilson was on the ice for uh, Washington, but uh, he wasn't. But Hathaway's a good number two option for sure. So anyway, Hathaway's being restrained by the ref. He and Good Branson are kind of going at it after he's already fought uh, Derek Grant. And through, you know, everything going on, Hathaway ends up spitting right in the face of Derek Grant. Or not Derek Grant, Eric Good Branson. And Good Branson's obviously pissed off at this, does not take kindly to it, tries to throw a punch at Hathaway, but the, the refs are in and the linesmen are there. Hathaway ends up getting tossed, gets a match penalty for the for spitting on him, and, and gets thrown out of the game. And there's it just it's it blew up on Twitter and Facebook and everything, and everyone was talking about this Derek or this uh, Garnet Hathaway spitting thing. And there's been talk about whether or not he would be suspended or not. And you know it's gross and it's a douchebag move it is a douchebag move on garnet hathaway's part to spit in anyone's face and there's no reason to do that but we've seen a lot worse things on the ice it's not like he took his stick and clubbed him over the head with it and and did something that deserves a 20 game suspension or it's not like um he ripped good branson's helmet off and swung it at him and hit him in the head with it uh like the nfl does uh, it, it, he, it wasn't that bad. It's, it's a douchebag move. He spit in his face. It's disgusting and really gross. And if I was Eric Goodbranson, I'd be furious. I'd be pissed off. And let me tell you, the next time those two teams play, I'd be, I'd, I mean, I'd be like, for your first shift, we're fighting, buddy. Um, but is it really suspendable? I mean, I don't know if you really should be suspending a guy for I'd say one game just for being a dickhead. Um, anything more than one game, I think, is excessive because we've obviously seen a lot worse things on the ice. And, um, I mean, players don't spit at each other very often, but they do spit a lot. And players are constantly spitting on the ice and spitting on the bench and spitting everywhere. It's really not that big of a deal. The thing that makes this bad is that he li literally spit in his face. And that is just a, that's a D-bag move and, and a not what you want to see out on the ice for sure. I wish he wasn't thrown out of the game. I'll say that. I wish Hathaway wasn't thrown out of the game because I wanted D Eric Goodbranson to get the chance to beat the living shit out of him during that game. Because um, that, to me, would be much better retribution than sending him to the showers early. I mean, the game wasn't really close. The Capitals won 5-2. to two. They were up already at that point. Um, it, it, there were... Throwing him out of the game doesn't really accomplish much. It would—it's not a punishment for Garnet Hathaway, really. 
Uh, I think a much better punishment would have been Hathaway after getting out of the penalty box, having to line up against Eric Goodbranson, and Goodbranson just beating the living shit out of him. That would have been a lot more fun to watch and a much better punishment for Hathaway than getting tossed. So, again, I don't know if he gets suspended or not. He might get a game. I think if, if the league gives him anything more than a game for this, that's just excessive and, and kind of ridiculous. I mean, we've seen a lot worse things happen in a hockey game than someone getting spit on. But I do want to say it's a huge douchebag move from Garnet Hathaway. Um, and, and not something that I would take kindly to. Not something that... If anyone did that to me, I can guarantee you I'd be throwing punches with you on the spot. And Good Branson tried to, but the refs were already there and in the way. Um, and it's just, it's, it's gross, it's disgusting, and it's needless. And, and there are better ways to deal with things than by spitting in someone's face, to say the least. So... Hathaway, that was a D-bag move, my friend. I like Garnet Hathaway as a player. He's a great bottom six player. He brings energy. He's he hit anything in sight. He's not afraid to drop the gloves. Uh, I like him a lot as a player, but that is that's not the kind of thing you want to see anyone doing. Even if you're a Caps fan, you can't watch that and, and go, yeah, that that was a good move. I mean, you got to watch that and go, yeah, that's my guy, but he probably shouldn't be spitting in people's faces and. Uh, obviously, other people around the league were not happy with seeing someone be spit on like that. But um, again, I just think it's a it's it's a dickhead move. It's it's dumb. It's needless, and and it's really really gross. But I don't think it's anything particularly dangerous or excessive that deserves a long suspension or anything like that. So I think at most Hathaway gets a game for just being a moron. And then he should be back into the lineup. Um, he might not get suspended at all. And I wouldn't have a problem with that either. Maybe just fine him. I, I don't think this is anything that needs to, to be handled by suspension. And it's probably not the first time we've seen players spit at each other in a, in a hockey game. I can't think of any particular incidents off the top of my head. But I'm sure that this is not the first time that players have spit each other at each other in a hockey game. So... That's just my opinion. I think uh, no suspension or one game I would be fine with. Uh, anything more than that is too much. Um, we've seen a lot worse, but again, D-bag move. Not not what you want to see. And uh, I, I definitely should be fined. Definitely should be fined and told, you know, sh shown that this kind of behavior is not acceptable on the ice. But with that, like, comment, share, subscribe, follow on social media. All those links are down in the description below. If you'd like to further support the channel, the links to our Patreon and merchandise store are down in the description as well. Keep spreading the word about this channel. Let's keep this thing growing. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll talk to you guys soon.